He's a blob and I'm a blob and we're the blobs, it's the game blobs. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Ultimate programmer. Wow, she can program these nuts, boy. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, you gave me the the moniker of ultimate cuck, so <laughs> I gotta live up to that. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. Anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. Y you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for the all for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also got that timid little bunny type thing going, <laughs> which has endeared her to what? her legion of fans. Uh, Hey, so like, listen. Uh, I'm, sorry. I'm really sorry about the viruses on your computer. Huh? What are you apologizing no. for now? Well, it's just because you seem upset that I saw your browser history. You must be mad at me, right? What the fuck? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Oh, creep. I think you kind of made her into a bigger creep Hina. than she was, though. I'm Maybe. Asahina, <laughs> but my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Love, Hina. My friends just call me Hina. Ultimate swimming pro. Oh, yeah, Shania, she's been breaking records in every competition she's been in, she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen uh, for the upcoming Olympic cadet. She's without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and uh, proportions has been widely discussed along. Oh. That's wild. Oh, he tried to shit. nonchalantly say that. Yeah. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto I just told Nagi. you. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that stupid jock. You got it. Sure, sure. Got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Boink, boink. Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Makotonagi, Makotonagi. <laughs> she just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Um, well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Sweet Jesus. Those four over there are the only ones left. I'll take the first two, you take the second two. Okay. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Ludenberg? Ultimate gambler. Oh shit, she's got addictions. <laughs> Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. Oh, um, are you are you are <laughs> Japanese, right? <laughs> Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, can you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, silly goose. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. Right. So, she is definitely uh, a suspect. I don't know, a suspect for, <laughs> but she won't even give us her real name. So that's that's a little... There was another girl who wouldn't give you any name. She, but she didn't talk. She Oh, she gave she, you a name. She's giving you a fake name. But as mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think that she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. 
Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. Lolita? You don't know what Lolita is? I know what it is. Oh. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. Suspect number one. I'm, I'm calling her out every time. <laughs> she totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did. <laughs> oh, that's what she laughs like? I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that is completely not great. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. I'm, I'm, I want this one too. I am Sakura Ogami. Death by Snoo Snoo, huh? <laughs> <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. Oh geez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember she competed in martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. She call Some call her Ogre. <laughs> some <laughs> even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. That that famed Missing Link. That's wild. Any incoming Hope Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Jeez. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey, you! <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she... Oh, well, I'm fucking up. Yeah, I was like, she started changed? to poke and pride at my body. Oh, shit. Um, what are you? Muscular quality and quantity is right around that extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. What a shame you're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm sure that's that that's such a shame for me. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. What the fuck? He's a stoner surfer. Take it easy. Yashiro Hag uh Hagakure, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Ah, uh, okay. I give up. Huh? What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in his mouth. And that guardian angel? Is your guardian angel? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What the fuck? <laughs> what? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school, idiot. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it's a long story. Shouldn't he know the great the answer to this already? A few times? Yeah, I bet. Name's Byakuya Togami. A fluent project. What? Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> huh. That's the most half assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Mm. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byaka Togami, he's the here he's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglor conglomerate. Conglomerate. I don't know how to fucking read, bro. That's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. You assist me with remembering all this bullshit? He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Pro... I, 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 Progeny. Progeny? Is that actually a real word? It's like Progeny. That's what like I was thinking. Prodigy, but like, I guess it's a different way of saying it. It's completely it. accurate. He's a definition of... Exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope Speak Academy thread online. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. Yeah, you look like a cuck, bitch. Thank His you. aura says to me, <laughs> you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. King of these nuts. Idiot. 
And with that, all Ooh. introductions are done. Even though they're all ultimate, they have, they each have their own individual sort of something. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Damn. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, nothing. Well, you see... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then I you were just I asleep. Voice, but that uh, doesn't matter. I don't. Th honestly, the the girls, I can't remember who I even did. I don't remember who I did in general. Uh, fuck! What was his voice? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that every one of us said was. Get knocked out like that. Piece of shit. Exactly! That's when we're all freaking out! And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows and the classes and hallways were, right? So he knew and he still wanted to call you out. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cellular device. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then, there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Maybe we got caught in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it, like... What, like, a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off? And we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on. Don't, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. Get a couple brewskis. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Uh, well, if that's all it is, it's time. It's not. It's... I gotta go sleep. <laughs> I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I can feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. Ding dong, big bone. God, I thought I thought Hickman was hard with the voices. <laughs> Holy shit! Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing some laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now, please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey, what are you going to take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this was real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that map too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me, I wanna go with you. What is that then? I will see you all there. Anyway. Not, not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only um, one. This doesn't seem right. This is bad. <laughs> yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However. Maybe just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? Let's see. <laughs> if we do not move forward, and we learn nothing, and only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kinda no really nervous. 
We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Ooh, save point, save point. Save point, save point. Save point, save point. Right, we, we could... We could go straight to the gym, or we could read, uh, go through conversation. Whatever you want to do, bud. Let's only talk to the characters that I like. You gotta talk to Big Boy, for sure. Yeah, well, him the, and the sex Tempo. offender. Oh, no. Shit. You gotta talk to him, though. Shit, what the hell kind of game are they playing? Jim and Cole. This is bad. What was with that announcement? Like, it was totally creepy. Alright, uh, oh, how about everybody just shut up and get the fuck out of my way? Open the door. Holy cow! What's with the huge metal hatch? It looks like some kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? The door definitely wasn't there then, though. Uh oh. Gotta look around. The surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. There's no way that's a real gun, right? <laughs> yeah. That's what you think, old buddy, old pal. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs in here. Okay. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. What do I need to talk to the trigger? Uh, um... Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. Leave the area? Yes. Do something. Alright. Now we're walking around. Because they went somewhere. Where'd they go? Oh yeah, that's where they're going. They're going to the gym. I actually forgot that they said gym. You forgot that they all left? I forgot that they said they were going to the gym. Uh. <laughs> Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. <laughs> it really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um, and why isn't anyone around here walking through the halls? I didn't see a single person. Pain in my balls. <laughs> isn't that, like, seriously not good? Oh, they're, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Shit. Well, hell! It ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get it over with. Pain in my balls! Hey, where's whoever called us here? My balls hurt. Mondo, stop! No running! Uh, eat my dick. <laughs> I too shall go. Hey! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Don't leave me alone! Oh... <laughs> uh... Let's see. Oh, wait! Oh, no. oh, don't leave me alone! Don't leave me alone! This is bad. I'm totally gonna die right now! A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So, this is probably just a tiny fraction of their awards. Still feel with uneasy dread. I did what the announcement said, and we went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Huh? Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See? Told ya. It's just totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Is everyone here? Good. I didn't, like I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I thought you were like, I don't like that voice. <laughs> I don't like his belly button, dude. I want. Looks like a little butt. I want to bite it. Huh? Take like a, oh, a butthole. Teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma, and I. I am this school's headmaster. Oh. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes it was. What I was seeing was, it was utterly incomprehensible. 
kind of like every day when I wake up. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. What? What? That teddy bear can talk? Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey, come on now. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Mono Kuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? what? It moved? Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Well, that's because NASA's not real. Don't yes. make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. Their dreams are already destroyed. They faked the moon landing. I just couldn't bear that. <laughs> bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay, so... He's abandoned the gag. Good morning. Everyone stand at attention and bow and good morning. You hear me? Good, good morning! morning. What's your problem? You, you don't have to say it back. Oh shit. First let's talk a bit about your school life. Here we'll here we'll, uh, Let's talk about a bit what your school life here will be like. Now uh make no mistake, you you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such a splendid hope, you will now live in come uh come life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Ah, uh, now then regarding the end, the end date for this communal life. There isn't one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. It's such a school life you've been assigned. What did he just say? Until the day we die? Oh, no, f no, fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now? Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to like live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you! I am no liar of that! You can be 100% sure! Uh, -huh. uh, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school? Dare to oh, keep us trapped shit. in here? What a twist. That's exactly what they're for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life with life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you. Yeah, cut the shit out. It isn't funny anymore, my balls. <laughs> You keep saying this is a lie or a joke or a bunch of skeptics, all what of you. But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And then that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs, my balls, that I speak with undeniable truth. Paying my balls! Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you already decided what, you, you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... As headmaster, I've crafted a, crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. It's I call it the graduation clause. Oh, okay. Now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment for harmony here, we rely on communal lifestyles. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is a graduation clause. What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? 
Well, you know. If one person were to murder another. But murder? Yes, indeed. Stab and strangle and blo <laughs> what? Bludgeoning. Bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you want to do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. It chill shot down my spine. Shit. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. I bet that your got your brain juices flowing. It beats the heck out of human catching uh, of a human catching a salmon, huh? What the fuck? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered into creates a darkened shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is, it's. To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? What? Yeah! Stop blabbering on with all this nonsense! I forgot his voice! Just just let us go home already! Blabbering. Oh fuck. Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from the moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead and kill, kill, killing spree. All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Huh? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? I'm right. Yeah, cause I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma's voice rumbling like thunder. Listen up, asshole! This shit's going way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? My balls! <laughs> <laughs> Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? <laughs> oh, son shit. Of a bitch. Fool! <laughs> you son of a bitch. Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Oh, shit. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! So angry. The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it. What, no smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Get rid of it. Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if the ferocity stunned him in the silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did... The hell? What the? That, that sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. But, you know, that means that the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey. I told you I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma. Oh? Huh? Oh, there's another one. You son of a bitch! You seriously try to kill me in my balls just now? Of course! Well, yes! I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does that mean there's like a bunch more of you around here somewhere? Yep. 
Monokuma's have in place all throughout the school, yes! Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with any punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Th that's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Damn, that's clever. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, moving on, this handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school like, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook, so it has many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And that's to no space age design. It can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of your school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Rules are strict, yes, but they also protect society. For an example, would be utter chaos without laws. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well that brings our interest ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and Jeez. see ya. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. What the fuck? So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We we have to live here forever or or kill? What? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choose number one. Choice number one is that we stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is if we want to get out of here uh, alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... This is just totally not erotic. What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake. <laughs> right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is, so in other words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all of this? To that, nobody had a response. Keep it quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at each other. Trying to gauge each other's thoughts, I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that is how my new school life began. This school which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Welcome to despair. Everyone survived for now. That was fucking hot. I don't like his belly button, dude. I want to. Looks like a little butt. I want to bite it. It's like a, a butthole. Ultimate programmer. Wow, she can program these nuts, boy. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, you gave me the the moniker of ultimate cuck, so <laughs> I gotta live up to that. 